fathers Gregory Cormier of Baldwin and Mike Herpin of Lafayette, Louisiana, reconnected their Catholic faith journey to God at a recent icon writing workshop held at St. Joseph Abbey in St. Benedict. They spent six days meticulously laying tempera paints to a canvas to bring the prophet Elijah to life. Every color, every line has deep spiritual significance, Father Cormier said, of the icon writing process. The board represents creation, and each step, as you are writing the icon, you are gaining connection to God, the heavens, and yourself with the person you are depicting in the saints. It is a most Catholic journey. The writing of icons can indeed create a window into a person's relationship to God, said Russian-born Dmitry Andreev, an instructor of the Propasson School of Iconography in New York. Andreev taught the workshop October 10th or 15th in the Byzantine style of icon writing. Icon writing is the painting of Jesus, a saint or a holy person on wood, and is believed to date back to the Apostle Luke, who painted an icon of the Virgin Mary. Icons are not portraits, Andrea said. Icons are symbols of the presence of God in saints. Father Cormier and other experienced iconographers concentrated on a scene of Elijah in a cave being fed by a raven, while the less experienced iconographers created a half figure of Elijah. Iconography to the iconographer is a journey of self-discovery in our relationship with God, said Christine Donis, workshop coordinator. For me, that's what it is, a journey I am taking to strengthen my relationship with God and to decrease the awareness of my human condition and how it can be a window to heaven. Icons take you through the steps of that awareness to heaven. Each day before the sessions began, Father Cormier consecrated the hands of the iconographers before they painstakingly layered temper paints from dark to light. The sequence of layers enlivens an icon just as a person's faith is illuminated as his faith deepens. The iconographer climbs from nothingness to the complete image, instructor Andreev said. This process reflects the spiritual growth as we come from the world as nothing to growing in the holiness of God. The technique Andreev taught involved 22 steps that began with a board or a tree of life. That board is covered with gesso to become pure and then filled with the nature of man by using clay and layers of paint to develop the alpha, omega, chaos, the icon soul, and life-giving lights. We represent all of these lights as a gift to God, Andreev said. As believers, we believe that it comes from God. That energy that makes everything alive comes from God, so it has an important context. Andreev considers icons as living traditions that preserve the values and apostolic traditions of the Church. Read the entire story on page 4 of the October 24th edition of the Clarion Herald.